Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 28 of my Throth the Unclean and Mortal Empires campaign. We are going to begin today's episode with some cold hard diplomacy. Azag the Slaughterer is driving a very hard bargain. He wants to give us 13,000 gold for a peace treaty. Uh, fair enough. We can have peace for 13,000. I got plans. And Skarsnik got plans. Now we have 13,000 gold. Basically, I was going to just do some in administration stuff and in the turn. I was going to put Skrulk out front into ambush and try to lure Grognok in for an ambush. And that turns out to not have worked because they wanted peace for a good deal of gold. So I'm going to do some upgrading on buildings and I will see you all in the next turn. And now, interestingly enough, the dead things would also like a peace tree for probably as much money as they're willing to give me, which is... Very surprising, but you know what? We'll take it. Stab them in the back later. Refugees of war for Clan Krizor. Die. Sacrifice to Mathland performed. And we researched eyes everywhere, giving us 5% additional to our ambush chance. So as far as our current technology goes, like I've been saying, I would like to move towards the different plans, the oppressive plans, and then the plans within plans. So many plans. We also could grab some murder dissenters for an additional one control, which is really so negligible. I just don't want to spend two turns doing it. And then additional 10 armor for clan rats is really not that bad. So we could grab this so that any of our minutes from below summons is pretty solid. Just any of these are going to take us a good deal. We're nearly up to 300%. So I think for now, we'll grab the 10 additional armor from all of our minutes from below. And then we'll work towards something we really want. So I think we'll grab... I think we'll work towards record effective recipes so we can get ultimate experiments as fast as possible for additional growth and income from all buildings for all faction-wide. We've been doing fine in combat, and our rats are really not meant to be beaters as far as uh, the melee goes. Could try to assassinate you, but I would rather just try to keep stealing tech. Let's move to Bechafin. Blast walls. A success. No, don't blast the walls. Go steal their books. Yes, for Hold on, charge lock. We can't get your final steel tech just yet, so let's move up here to arms dealer. Boost income if, we, if we're standing in enemy province. It will actually just reduce their income, which is rude, but that's not what we're here for. Making that money. Any more diplomacy we can get up to? I'd like to try to sign some more peace treaties. I didn't want to sign the treaties with the Greenskins and uh, Drakenhof. I would rather, not Drakenhof, uh, Vlad. I would have rather signed it up with most of the enemies to the north that want to fight us. I guess they need several more punches to the face before they're content with a peace treaty. Well, in that case, Molbits. We can't trust anyone down to the south. But I can pull Skrulk over. I fight, hunt. Without eyes. I think you should be able to reach Zavastra next turn, no matter what. We'll bring you over here. A bold move. I tried to give this abomination some... Ooh, where'd he go? Some mutations in between. And he ended up with two instabilities. So uh, he is not long for this world. He's going to start up most battles. Well, he's going to drain health down to 50%. So that's not great. But he can stalk. He's a really sneaky big boy. He's got that active camouflage. All right, Snickich. We need make. you. There are there's three whole armies here, and they are building up. No, the whole steamroll ball of the uh, dark elves there. Let's bring Snickich. Chances are they're going to attack Castle Alexandrina, but let's come up here and grab the mysterious island while we can. Let's give us a little influx of money. Going, going, yes. Sail on over. Strange campsite is discovered, populated by statues. A fire still burns and a cooking pot bubbles, yet no living thing attends. Just statues fashioned in the throes of a failed escape. Then, in the undergrowth, something hisses. This needs to be a lightning fast raid. Well, we don't want to be turned into stone, so let's go for... Ooh, I think we want fortified grog. Give us a little bit of regeneration. We're going to be fighting against many armies here. Curse of cannibalism, huh? Your counter on the high seas is not one the crew or the troops will readily talk about, yet they have gained regenerative abilities. Oh, where Windigo's now. And the portents of Herminus Doom. Pretty good. 
Let's scoot on back to the castle. Death master snake. Nothing nearby in the ocean there, sadly. <laughs> Quick, Mike. It'd have been better if he gained some gold from that, but I guess we'll take the regeneration. It was grog that was made from people. All right, Throt. I think it's time to start off a war with the Empire. We need to, is it as we did to Nolan, is this one of the raid or is this the destroy? Razor sack. And then wound or kill Prince Ograx, who's still messed around in the north. Archaon has made landfall. He ran away from Thromute, interestingly enough. My friend Thane Frost is going for a full monstrous force, which, fair enough, that's probably pretty solid against us. All they've got to do is make it into contact and we're dead. We've got Garot the Mad as far as a new Warlock Engineer, and he is outfitted with a Hell Pit Attendant as well. I'm just going to put him into one of the other armies. It was probably Deathmaster Sneakitches. So swing on over, sir. And we can have you steal some tech if we really want. We have Mechanic Gear up here. Moving up to steal some tech from the Sarl encampment. And the Under Empire as well now. Let's just move up. Bring it, it down. Technology stolen. Bringing us up to not anything. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. I always forget. I think it's the next couple turns. We're going to upgrade the scavenge pile. We're putting in the scavenge pile here because it actually has more income than any of the other base buildings. And it is going to reduce our overall recruitment cost for the enemies or armies in this area. Blessings. Yeah, we need a razor sack. We'll sack the settlement first because we don't want to delete our under empire building just yet. It is giving us a small supply of food and some income. We definitely need to figure out how to replicate that elsewhere because 209 is not a small amount. So we will move Throt in. Is anyone else at war with? Speak. I will hear you now. Ooh. Be warned. We can make My a deal with. The Bone Rattlers. I believe they still have a good deal of money. They were willing to offer us that much. I will join your war against Reichland if you offer me nothing. Fair enough. All right, well, let's just go fight with Reichland then. No mercenary wrath this day. Declare war. That shouldn't drop us down. Ooh, Wargrove of Woe and Carcassonne is jumping in. All right, that we can handle. I think the Wargrove is pretty much already pushed back. That is going to be a decisive victory. They are going to have walls and the like. Oh, but the uh, orcs are going to fight by our side. You know, we can do some steezy maneuvers here and blow these orcs up at the same time. Let's, let's see what we can do. All right. Welcome to the Battle of Bechafin. The reinforcements will arrive at a minute 51. And this was the army that I was going to attack myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag our entire, well, yeah, we're going to drag our entire force over here. Start deployment. We're just going to hang the troops out. We're going to make sure we can blast apart their, any of their dudes on the walls that do decide to move in. And then we're going to be really, really sneaky and use our Plague Priest to annihilate our allies. So we're going to keep you all the way over here in the forest. We'll wait for them to come on in and then we'll save a plague for them. And because they're our allies, they will not fight back. They think we are gifting them with strength. Strength through death. And then we'll have Throt move in, smash up, see if we can take these towers offline at the very least. Or, now nah, we're going to be even sketchier, sketchier than that. We're going to do nothing. Remolder some of our monsters. And wait for our allies to dash themselves against the walls after being plagued. Should be good fun. All right then, lads, it is nearly time. Let's get the plague ready. And we will drop it in and amongst all of these gobos. The best ally. 
I'll take it off. Slow mo. And the Rattler up. We'll blast some more through them. They're not sure what's happening. They're like, what is. What? Why? Couldn't ask you. I couldn't tell you, really. Just all the spells we have, blast them through. And the fire's on. Foolish orcs. Choppa's out. Now let's roll with them. Wait till we have another plague and then do that all over again. Their shaman's waddling on in. Got some hustle in his step too, doesn't he? We see how much damage we took? Oh, we killed a good 300 of them. Oh, never mind. They just hadn't. Hold on in. Yeah, we can do another uh, another plague breath here. Pretty cheap spell, and it blasts through all these gobos. There we go. Some very confused green skins coming on out. See how if Throd has his remolder again, I've been using it to try to heal up this mutant ogre that's been taking a beating and not been able to re replenish too well. Patch himself right back on up. Use another molder clan stone when we can. Okay, at the walls, I would like to try to blast the avalanche mortar in on top of them. I just don't want to get hit from the walls ourselves. Let's bring you guys up. I don't think they can outrange these towers. I don't think we should try. Back. Move, Scurry, we definitely missed our chance for a really good plague. Yeah, well, we let them hit the walls. Let's go ahead and drop just another pestilent breath then. Through all of these, uh, these poor gabos. Ah, uh, a little bit of a bad one. We'll hit a couple units. Keep moving. Last one through there. Good bit of damage. Oh, right, here we go. Now they're clumping up. Right here would be perfect. It's not gonna hit those gobos, but it'll get all the orcs and the orc boys coming through. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, no, we don't need this magic for ourselves. We're gonna use it to weaken our allies. Oh, that damage though. War crimes with Throt. Okay, let's see if we can have the Avalanche Mortar. I wanted it to move in, but I'd also like to keep it safe. We'll do one more Clan Mulder Healstone, and then we'll send us up. Those gobos are already ready to run. Let's go link up with the rest of the troops. How much magic do we have total? 65 in our reserve? Well, hang on now, then. I'm happy to do some more damage. We may not be able to keep up, though. Bounce it through these guys. Kind of like them to keep their big ends so they can do a little bit of damage. These gobos are useless. Yeah, we'll blast it through this way. Should bounce off the wall even. Oh, not a good one. Did more than I expected. As they're taking damage from the walls and the handguns up on the walls, ready to receive them. All right, let's send the boys in. So this group of ogres going to go knock down those gates there. Have you bring it this direction, and we'll send the Helpin Abominations over to help out with your situation. All right, and then we'll send this group up. Broth the Unclean, Gorich. We'll just grab everyone that's still here. And smash. We'll have Gorich go with the Brood Horror. Go hit that gatehouse. Move it on in. And our allies have taken a good bit of damage. Drop some more. Spells thawing through. Wipe out some of their ranged troops. Keep the plague priest moving on over. He's in on the walls. I don't know if you can summon in the wolf rats behind. Let's see if we can. 
Back master, yes. drop him in. Nah, that'd be, that'd be far too strong. Well, you just continue to work on those walls there. Take a bit of damage on the way in. It'll choose the chieftain to go the opposite direction with this group, a little bit slower. Looks like they don't like my plague priest. Fair enough. The orcs don't like him either. Avalanche Mortar is just a little bit too far away. We'll scoot it up. As well as its Storm Vermin Retinue. Very good, master. Impacted the walls. I just like to see some purple rain coming on down. Fire the mortars. You guys are definitely close enough. Give them a smack. Now just shoot at them. You don't gotta get any closer. Apparently I'm wrong. Alright. We've stopped fighting with my Plague Priest. Because they realize scarier targets are now inbound. Let's get the Plague Priest around. We can use some magic. Gobbles are going the wrong direction. Oh, Dorit, charge on in. All the abilities you have, use them. These poor, poor innocent swordsmen. Blend them up. The emulsification begins. Don't stop till they're all dead. Fair enough. I am actually receiving a call from the Lady Wizard, so I'm going to pause and I will catch on in just a second. And now the war crimes can continue. Let's get this going. All right, you big ball of lads. I don't even know what to call you. Smash on through. You all did very well. They couldn't fire till they were basically inside, which is kind of scary. Let's bring them forward. We'll bring the storm vermin up to protect. Smashing into that barrier there. Let's have Throt before we continue on. I nah, no reason to pop that, but we did. We will throw What's in the Rad Ogres in on these handguns that are trying to move up on us. Yes. Closer. We well, I don't know, Throck, come back. Bro, get back here. We need your Rad Ogres. We'll just summon in some clan rats. Come here, buddy. Hold those for me. We have broken on through. Let's go ahead and avoid... Avoid those halberds if we can get out in here after these crossbows. We'll let those orc boys charge into the halberds. Boy, use gits. Well, that boy got crumped. Let the crumpeting commence. These archers over here look like they're doing way too well for themselves. Let's give them some poison. And then we will drop... Well, let's get in beyond the walls. We're not getting attacked anymore. Send you guys in after these handguns. Right through the gates over here. All smashed into those crossbows. It wasn't a great charge, but... Did get in on them. Knock some guys over. Charge in. Send the... Flaming group over here to claim this point. And guns blasting in. They're going to do a little bit of damage, but it really is not going to be enough fast enough. Here come the big beasties. Galloping on in. They're hungry for man flesh. They should absolutely destroy that group. Purple flame charging on in. I'm not sure why we can't break through this barricade. There we go. Now we're through. Drop in all the friends. Standard die for Throt. Some more ogres dropping down as well. I thought I hit the button. Turns out I was wrong. And ogres dropping down as well. Make me a liar. We'll send Gorage to there, and then the Brood Horror. Further up, since it's a little faster. Annihilated that group of handguns. We need to get some more war crimes going. A beautiful blob of lads over here. Oh no, I completely forgot to target the enemy. Clan of you turn me. around and smash them, please. Point is falling under our control. Plague is opening on up and ripping the orcs to pieces. As is their right. And then we can also grab them again Clan and do a little bit of plague in right through the middle of both those groups. 
overcast some actual plague. Blast it through. And then we'll summon in. Oh, it's a victory. Well, well done. We savaged the orc forces. They're going to continue to round up some men. That is a victory. A stunning victory. We deployed 2,694 and lost 1,244. We actually ourselves only lost, I believe it was six. So the loss is going entirely to Grognock here. I probably could have done even more if I focused it down a bit harder. But that'll do. We gained a bit of growth vat, some food, and some treasury. I think we will go ahead and sack Fetchafin. Perfect. And the province of Bechafin is going to have Bechafin, Nagenhof, Mordheim, and Essen. So we perhaps don't want to claim this just now. Because we're not quite at war with the Bone Rattlers anymore. Spencer's Blades and the As We Did to Noln mission is successful. We may move on past Bechafin then. Master Out of Lord movement, unfortunately, but we can scoot on by. I think we will ignore Zavastra. Kappelberg here is part of Kabelheim. I think Ostland is where we should expand it to next. Fortunately, Ostland is controlled mostly by scaling. So maybe we expand out to an island here at Kappelberg. I need to be clever with it, but Skrulk is so powerful that no one is getting in his way. Him scroll. This man, his name is Thrawn. My mind is melted. Let's go ahead and. What do we want for your skill points, good sir? Got a good deal of them that I like. We got Ancient Cunning. Looter's probably not a bad idea. From looting settlements. Take it up to 8% total or 15% total. Lightning Strike, also not a bad idea, but I tend to enjoy fighting the battles that are very large. I don't mind not Lightning Striking fools. We can probably go for Trixie, not Trixie, but uh, Sneaky. Give him additional Missile Resistance up to 25%, which is not, not great. <laughs> Purest Scorch. I think, Gorich, we want to start working on Blade Master then. Start working on your melee attack. It's at 61, which could be definitely higher. Uh, in our Pack Master, I think we are pretty much just at starting to upgrade his other. I think we want Mentor, but we don't have really a lot of other Pack Masters active right now. We'll go for Opportunist instead. Max out his combat potential. All right, sweet business. 10,000 treasury again. Got some money to spend. Help it is fully maxed out. Nothing else we can do there. Ron the Mad is moving on over. We have 900 positive income. We can throw in some walls here at this settlement. Ama Thane Frost will most likely start a siege, though, so maybe a bad idea, maybe a good idea. Uskulak is one of the settlements that we need to move in and claim. We have to control seven. Just luck is one of them. I think as far as upgrades, then it's going to be walls here at Nalchazi and Yedich. And then we start off another battle here with Ramute. Can we use Underway to teleport over and help out with Archeon? Then we would leave the Frozen Landing fully undefended, though. You're a pretender. You'd fight Hama Thane Frost. You have many guns. You've got some Doom Wheels. He has an absolute ton of trolls, though. And these guys could just fly over the front line. Of which I have no front line. We could recruit in some... Haven Slaves. Give ourselves some dudes to fire pass. These are not bad augments at all. Extra armor. Brings them up to 20 total. Which is better than zero. Alright, let's grab Kevin, then. That, that will work. I'd love to get an ambush on Archeon, but if only we could be so lucky. Let's charge on in here. 
Before we go, we're missing a single unit. Never. Let the bell scream, what can we scream. use to help one out? Oh, I know what we're missing. We're missing our help in Abomination. Hurt our income, but we're going to need it. It's Archeon. Alright, All he's in March Stance. Now we just need to ambush him also. Get to it. And ambush. They failed to spot it. Did we get a close victory. This time, Archeon, you are going to the auto resolve. See you later, sir. Fill the locker with ye. We can go ahead and eat up. I don't think we need to. I think we'll go ahead and sell them off. Archeon should fetch a pretty penny. Now we're out of movement, so let's get away so we don't get jumped. Beautiful. Dealing with the ever chosen. And we'll grab the last point into Quartermaster, and then we can finish off his red line there. Chosen. The assassin. Concealment bombs, I really don't think we need just yet, so I think we'll just continue to make him a little bit better in combat, so. Speed, eh. Probably Counter Striker. Already got 64 melee attack. That's really not bad for a rat. Let's go for Elusive instead. We're gonna need to work on the melee defense train that I always preach. Back up to 10,000, which is amazing. Let's start upgrading now that uh, the enemies are away from our shore. Dane Frost there, I'm a bit worried about. Let's start upgrading the Warren. And then give them a juicy target. Scoot outside and jump into ambush stance. See if we can't lure them in. He's not the best at ambushing yet. We need to make our nerdy boy better at it. Kislev is waiting to upgrade. We're kind of just waiting on that final bit of growth for both Kislev and Erengrad. Our split 500 positive. Can we have any more Warlock Engineers? Now we're at four. Get another Pagmaster. Or another Plague Priest. We'll hold off on that for now. We have a good deal of cash sitting in reserve, which is going to be useful. Jump into Diplomacy just real fast. I'm not concerned with the Fecundites. He's treaty. What? He's thinking about it. I think if I defeat this last army here, he will probably go away. Maybe we willing to sign a peace treaty. I can only hope. We've been at war for too long, good sir. What do you mean he hasn't been food? Hi again. Let's grab Lord Skrulk here. Nah, he's gonna be bad. Unfortunately, he can't quite reach Zavastra. Next turn, it shall be. Refugees of war. Clan mage seek refuge in exchange for their service. We take no service from failed clans. Except for that one. Our mute's ambush was foiled. Lord Skrulk has become a constructor. Instead of a destroyer. Oh, they have both sprinted down to the Temple of Heimkel. I probably should have attacked them before Throg joined the army. That's an unfortunate mistake. We may have to, may have to suffer. Well, let's have you jump over in Under Empire, I think. Reach the frozen landing. That'll do. Then for mute, we're gonna have to have you march to the Temple of Heimkel. What is? Not a chance. Clan Scryer. has our iron. Good deal of our incomes coming from here. And they would like it back. A step too far. All right. Well, for mute, come on over. Jump into the building. This may be your final stand, sir. Let's upgrade the lumberyard at Volksgrad. And then put in the you want a rubbish pit. We already got a rubbish pit over there. I already have a bell. Do we have any battle segments? No, we do not. Let's go for the poison wing gloves and rattling guns are still the best option. Raid those walls as well. Keep sitting Garot the Mad on over. Perfect. She is. Blade. Moving on away from her allies. I'd love to get intercepted, but never works out quite that way. Can we move on over? We can't quite reach the tower, even in underway. Sadly, no, but we can make it inside the, the ring of protection, so that's what we're going to do. Jump him on over. 
She may choose to go the opposite way, but we'll play chase with her as much as they'd like to. Lord Skrulk, time to move on, Zavastra. Who are you guys wowing on now? We still have the green glow, so I'm not... I trust you, Zero. That's three giants. All right, Skrull. Zavastra's defenses are few. Let's go tear them down. I like these smaller, uh, smaller scale battles, too. Nice valiant defeat. Are we out on the field? Yes, we are. I've got artillery. What do you mean? Let's do two minutes below, because we really don't need probably even that. Uh, and let's slaughter us some man things. Start deployment. It is time to test scroll for real. And we've got Blight Scabs, Blight Scabs playing pack. They look disgusting, and these things would be awful to get hit with. Get smacked with an armor piercing mace, as well as getting the bubonic plague. We can bring our forces over to here, try to force them through the woods. We'll at least set up the artillery over here. Just on the tree line there, so we're making full use. Would like them scooted up just a bit. And rotated. Oh, so they've got a bit of bit of a better firing angle there. That'll do, I guess. They keep they keep just being offline and it's gonna bother me. Listen, rats. You're lucky we're dealing with that. Put one group there, one group there. And then we'll have all of our rat ogres ready to charge on in. Break some break some bones, legs, whatever they can find. Got the plague pack and the uh little bit of abomination. Our forces are few. Oh, but they're still pretty deadly. Let's get this battle going. Have white scabs, group up with them. Broke in the hell pit can be together. My unstable hell pit should start doing damage to itself before too long here. What's you guys' plan? I will shoot the whole force up just a little bit here. No reason not to. With the plague claws firing on their archers. Be an amazing target for them. Send a couple of the rat ogres over. Pick you guys up. Yeah, we're not going to be able to hit them very well just due to the fact that they're so good at dodging. Eerie green glow. Here comes some more. Maybe these those are going way wide. That's hitting nothing. Ooh, we almost got hit. Ons dodged by a hair. All right, if that's how it's going to be. Send the rat ogres around. Pull these ones back. I don't want you to have to scoot that much. You gonna you need to hang out here. Start blasting away these crossbows. Let's send Skrull directly in on those spearmen. See if we can't tie these guys down to get hit with some Rebuchet fire. You charge on in there. Sacrifice your lives to get in on those crossbows. Oh no, enemies abound. Yeah, tear him up. Scroll. No reason to apocalyptic vision yourself, but we can Libra Bubonicus these crossbows. And then set the the list a the trebuchets rather blasting apart these spearmen. We'll drop the Mulder Heal Stone. We'll have the help and abomination charge into those spears. They should not really be able to do much defense. Blasting them apart. Rolk is an absolute menace. Let's do ahead and do some plague magic. And honestly, even though he's the only one fighting, we'll give him the apocalyptic visions. Cleave skulls. And a quick, simple victory. 
Autoresolve doesn't know what it's talking about. And a decisive win. We lost 14 rats total. All of them Skaven slaves, so their lot was to die. 100 kills to most of our main damage dealers. Pretty well done. Pretty well done indeed. Reichland takes a wallop. We will sack the settlement. As I believe Zavastra is going to be part of Fort, Fort Yakova and Vitvio, which are both part of Allied, well not allied, but someone we just declared peace with. We can't be claiming it just yet. So we will ignore that for now. And then we will claim for Skrulk, Wither. Leave the rest of that be for now. That peak over there gained some skills as well. We should go ahead and grab Fleet Footed for 15% more speed, taking him up to 69. Nice. Total. But with that victory, that's going to be all the time I've got for today. I have been Space Wizard of War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub throne, and I'll see you on the next one.